Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a de-bloated version of your Windows 10 image. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have a Windows system that we can enter audit mode on. So I shall connect to a virtual machine I already have powered up. I've hit Control Shift F3 and I'm now rebooting the system into audit mode. Okay, now we've booted into admin mode or audit mode rather. We can click no regarding our network being discoverable. Shouldn't really matter, and we can ignore the system just now. So the first thing you're going to have to do is download Windows 10 D Bloater. So open up Edge. So we need to go to a search engine. I use DuckDuckGo. And we're going to search for Windows 10 Bloater. Now the reason I'm using the search engine to show you is that the URLs for these are usually insane. That's a GitHub one. So click the GitHub link. Click the down arrow here and click download zip. I've already got it downloaded. Once it's been downloaded, click on it, right click, and then you can go to extract. So I've got 7-zip installed here, so I can extract here. But I've already extracted it. Once I'm inside here, I would also copy all the information and I'd put it in my ccon slash temp folder, which it is already here. So now we have to click right click on your start bar, do the Windows PowerShell as admin. We're going to cd backslash and we're going to cd temp. If I do a DIR, we should see our PowerShell scripts. We are now for simplicity. I'm going to do dot slash Windows 10 D bloater, but I'm going to hit tab again and I'm going to use a GUI version and hit return. Okay, so that's expected. Okay, that's basically saying that the security in my system means that it's not wanting to allow me to execute that, and that is a good thing. So we have to change our execution policy. Now the code is already here on the website. So for simplicity sake, I'm just going to copy and paste that. Go back over here. So I'm making my execution policy unrestricted. And I'll rerun the Windows 10 Debloater GUI. Okay, so it gives me the option to customize backlists, to revert registry changes, to remove all bloatware, to remove bloatware with custom blacklists, disable or enable Cortana, disable or enable PDF takeover, uninstall OneDrive, disable telemetry, enable dark mode, unpin tells from start bar and remove bloatware reg keys. Also gives me an install .NET 3.5. So first of all, let's remove the bloatware. When I click on that, you can see that it's running some scripts in the background. If we were to scroll up here, you'd also see it removes like the Office trial and stuff that's installed in Windows. If I actually select this, you can see it's still doing things. Disable and schedule tasks. Moving stuff from the start menu. It's also removed Cortana. That's been done. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be going any further, so I think this is actually finished. So I'm just going to go here. 
and I'm going to enable dark mode because I prefer windows in dark mode. I'll remove the bloatware registry keys. This is registry keys that install all of the crud that you don't actually request. Stop Edge PDF Takeover. That may already have been done. And I think that's us. So I can close this. It takes me back to my PowerShell prompt. So I will close PowerShell. I will close Edge. I'll close Explorer. And what I'll do is I'll click the Generalize here. And I'll enter the system out of the box experience, but I'm going to want to shut this down. The reason I want to shut it down is because I actually want to capture this image so I can install it on my Windows deployment server. I'm going to click OK and the system will shut down. And that's how you deploat an image for Windows 10. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.